Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in 3ds Max for beginners. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you about doors modeling in 3ds Max. So you can model some basic doors in 3ds Max and you can also get models from your external website. So you need to understand the first basic modeling of doors. So if you go here in your geometry panel and it will select this, you can find doors just here and if you will select this door command and can see there are the three types of doors pivot door sliding and by fold door so we will model this but we need to understand the definition of, of all these three doors so i am going to define each one so pivot door is a swinging door that rotates on a vertical axis at spindle this is different from regular hinged doors where the hinged are attached to the side of the door and the adjacent walls and if you look at the sliding door explanation is a type of door which opens horizontally by sliding visually horizontal to a wall sliding doors can be mounted either on a top of a track and if you look at the definition of bifold doors so definition of bifold door is that it slides open made of a series of a panels that fold up against the wall so these are made of series of panels and it is folded doors so now i am going to my 3ds max and i am going to select pivot door here and you can see this is the creation method of pivot door is width oblique depth or height and in this case you are required to first define width then you can define depth and then you can define height and the next case you can select you can define width then you are required to define height and then you can define depth so we will understand all this so i will go with the first one width oblique depth oblique height and you can also set your parameters here later on and now i am going to i go here and i will click here and i am going to define the width here first and we can change later on and then i will go for depth here and then i will go for height so now i will go in perfecting mode by pressing all w and now you can change this height from this parameter also so i'm going to give and fit height of the, this door you can see here and width i'm going to give suppose i fit and now i'm going to give depth of three inch you can see this is the door and it will come down here if you want to have double doors you can select this then check this box and this door is double door rotate this you can see this door is a double door you can see this vertical line here and uncheck this and if you want to flip swing you can select this and this swing is flipped to other side and if you want to flip to hinge side you can select this one so it will be flipped to hinge side also so now if you want to open your door we can start opening this by providing any angles here and you can open your doors next if you want to have frame you should always check this box here and if you don't want to have frame you can uncheck this so this is a frameless door so now i am going to give some depth width to this frame so i will have some depth. so i will enter any value so suppose i want to have inch and if I want to have some depth, suppose I want to have 4 inch depth, I will enter 4 inch and I want to have door offset 2 inch, so it's all are changing. Now I will go to my riff lift parameters here, so thickness is 0 feet, so 0 inches, so now I am going to give thickness lift, so I will give 4 inches and you can see this is the lift thickness and you can also provide top rail here and styles so i am going to give my top rail as one feet and this is our top rail and if you decrease this and you can make it four inch this is our top rail and if you want to have the bottom rail you can give so i am going to give seven inches this is the bottom rail you can increase or decrease this size 
can mirror also these arrows so likewise you can define your styles bottom rail and how many panels you want if you want to have two panels you can check this and if you want to have vertical panels also you can check this one so this is horizontal and vertical panels and this is mountain so if you want to have mountain so you can define this and you can increase this also so i'm going to have mountain so you can see these are like millions so now if you don't want any panels you can check this box none so there will be no panel if you want to have panels you can check this glass panel and you can also define thickness of these glass panels and you can give no any thickness also so if you want to have bevel profile you can check this bevel and you can change the angle here so it will be beveled so you can also increase or decrease the thickness of your bevel profile you can see and now you can give middle thickness also and width 1 and 2 also you can see the difference here so if you practice you will understand the difference here so this was the introduction about pivot door and if you want to have double door again you can check this box again and you will see the difference there is a double door everything will be same but double door will be applied here so you can open as a double door and if you want to have clip swing you can check this box and if you want to have leaf hinges you can clip to hinge side and you can also open your double door suppose i am checking double door you can open like this so this is the pivot door next we will go to our sliding door and again if i am going to select my width first and then i will go for depth and then i will go for height so i will make this height to standard suppose i am going to make 7 feet and width i will take as 6 feet and depth i will take as 2 inches so this is the sliding door and you can play around this like flip front back and you can flip side also so it will be like this and you can open also like this you can see so likewise you can open like this and close like this so if you want to have frame you can again play with the frames and you can change the frame here in the depth you can put any value and you can use arrow and you can also offset door so it will be object around frame so all the settings are similar like lift parameters and top rail and panel horizontal so if you want to have more more panels you can define this you see this panels so if you don't want to have any panels you can uncheck this plus so rest settings is same and you can see this bevel profile also here so you can bevel around so we'll go to next door here and you can see the next door is by fold door so now i am going to again create my width and then depth and then my height so i will change the height from here so i will give 8 feet here and width i will take as 8 feet again width and depth i will give ranges so we will go 
and we can create double doors from here and you can flip swing and you can also open your doors like this so this is by full door and you can give frame depth here so i will give inches so i'll go for three inches and door offset you can give two inches so these are lift parameters so how many panels you want so i want horizontal panels so i will make this value as two three so you can see these panels and you can provide vertical panels also so like this you can create so if you don't want to have any panels you can check this and rest the settings are same so this was the basic introduction about those modeling in 3ds max so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in 3ds max so please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye